Redford, let's do this. Hillary Sheavy knew at the age of eight she wanted to be an ice skater. I remember going on a ski trip with my parents and I saw the ice skating rink and I fell in love with it. As she grew, she began to realize her dream. I went down to Santa Rosa for an, a figure skating camp and I was skating there and there was a very prominent coach who, um, his name was Carlo Fossi and he trained Dorothy Hamill, Peggy Fleming, Scott Hamilton. Um, he had seen me skate and he had approached my mother and said, would you be willing to move to Colorado Springs? And she, of course, was like, oh, no way. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yes, we're going. <laughs> and so um, it was something I wanted to do more than anything else, and my, my parents completely supported me. And I was like 12 years old at this point. As Hillary is training for the Olympics, her health begins to fail. She's known for a long time that her immune system is not quite right, and after many years and many trips to the doctor, she is finally diagnosed. Finally, they figured out it was glomerulonephritis, and what that is is continual scarring of the kidneys, okay. and it actually happens from strep throat. With both her kidneys failing and her Olympic dreams crashed, Hillary is told she will need a kidney transplant. The testing of her family members began, and luckily, they find a great match. My um, sister Amanda, uh, she was the best match. And we were actually what they call um, a five out of six match. Six oh. would be perfect. So like if mm -hmm. you and I were twins, we would be a six match. But um, Amanda and I were fives. And most siblings are threes. So that's a <gasps> half match. Oh. So Amanda and I were an incredibly close match. After she was tested, she said, I really want to do this. And this is so great because if you had cancer, I couldn't help you. But this, I can help you. And So what's you. it like for you? I mean, how much pressure does it put on you to ask a family member, and obviously mm -hmm. one that you're very close to, because this is your sister we're talking right. about, um, right. to give up one of her organs. I mean, this is a big thing because she mm -hmm. could have complications then. Exactly. Um, it, it's a lot of pressure. I would think. Because you think, what if something happens? And, mm -hmm. and oh my goodness, am I doing the you know right thing? And maybe I should wait you know, for a cadaver? And you know, it, it, is, it is a hard decision to yeah. make. Without the ability to skate, Hillary has to find a career path. And this very determined, bright woman has no problem finding her way. Well, I, my grandfather was an entrepreneur, my mother was an entrepreneur. Um, I have always loved, loved business. I mean, business is, is my thing. And so I moved back home to Reno, and then I stayed here because I wanted to open a business, and I opened Plato's Closet, and I was very fortunate because we expanded that store, and then I opened another store. And so I really, I, I just feel like I understand the flavor of an entrepreneur and I understand what it's like to be a risk taker. And I think um, my background with sports mm -hmm. has really, really given me um, that sort of opportunity to have that kind of um, determination right. and desire. Business is clearly in Hillary's blood, but why Plato's Closet? I think as teenagers, honestly, a part of that is because their need to fit in. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, feeling like that and always thought it was such a struggle. So kids are very branded by what they're wearing, how they fit in. And to me, I just always loved that concept of resale. I love the concept of recycling, but I also love the concept that these kids could afford to wear, you know, the Abercrombie or what, whatever was in. And so I really just fell in love with that concept and knew that Reno had to have a Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet is so successful, Hillary decides to open a second clothing store. Same concept, same high-end clothes at great prices. However, it caters to a more professional woman. I was seeing all these great clothes come into Plato's Closet and we were turning them down. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wait a minute, I would wear that. <laughs> With two businesses going strong, Hillary decides to run for city council and start giving back to the community she loves so much. And I'm one of those, I, I always like a challenge. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but I really think it's important to, to give back and um, it, it's different because I'm not a politician. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. But I think it's, it's critical to have people like that um, in politics that know what kind of red tape that you know, we in business face. And so that's yeah. where I really was like, I, th I really know that I could make a difference. While Hillary was opening businesses and winning a seat on city council, tragedy struck her family again. As you might expect by now, Hillary and her sister Amanda once again rise up to the challenge. Yeah, my mom, she, you know, she was my best friend for many, many years. And I, I honestly, a lot of um, who I am is because of her. She, you know, always gave me, um, you know, so many wonderful things. And, and I just can't, I can't thank her enough. I love my mother. My mom had a severe brain injury. 
And so... Um, and just to be clear, you for 10 years have really been taking care of her mm -hmm. every day. Yes. While you're doing mm -hmm. all of these other things. Yes. That has been really difficult, is watching my mother have to suffer through something like that. It's yeah. been really hard. Well, I think it's pretty incredible that um, your sister is generous enough to give you her kidney. And then you and your sister yeah. are generous enough to spend 10 years caring for your mother instead of sending her, you know, somewhere else. Yeah. Um, what an incredible family you have. I mean, oh, just, I have to say, I don't you guys know. We're all obviously <laughs> really take care of each other. Oh, and there's a so lot sweet. to be said for that. A yeah. lot to be said for I that. just think, you know, it just makes you very very appreciative mm -hmm. and it's always important to have gratitude you know and I honestly I, I've been so blessed well that beautiful smile combined with all that gratitude and love for her family has served Hillary well in addition to all the things we've talked about tonight she is also the president of the Nevada Youth Empowerment Project a founder of the Midtown Merchants District she also founded the clothing collaborative which provides clothing to local teenagers at risk and in case all of that isn't enough Hillary spearheaded a national campaign for the world's largest organ donor card and lobbied nationwide to promote organ donor awareness. I could easily continue with Hillary's accomplishments, but the bottom line is this is one truly amazing woman and a true asset to her community.